What if I told you that in everyday life you are being affected by messages without even realising it? These are known as subliminal messages. Subliminal messages operate below the threshold of sensation and consciousness and affect your behaviour and your conscious thought. This was originated from Sigmund Freud, who said that there are two states of the mind, consciousness and subconsciousness. This was found recently by Dr. Barami at UCL, in which participants in an FRI scanner were presented by faint objects in one eye and a flashing light in the other. After this, they found that they were not able to recognise that these objects had been in their minds. This is because we have something known as the absolute threshold level. If a stimuli cannot be detected correctly 50% of the time, then it is outside our level of consciousness. Therefore, people can present images which are so quick, so small, that our conscious mind cannot recognise it. This is how subliminal advertising works. In order to investigate the effect of subliminal messaging on our everyday life, we went to a supermarket near us and also discovered some of the tactics they use to influence how much we buy. The first thing that we noticed which was the structure of the supermarket. We found the fresh produce was at the start of the store, which created a relaxing and appealing atmosphere and encourages people later on to buy more. There was also a section selling fresh bread. This creates an appealing smell which is likely to make customers more hungry. Often supermarkets put the essentials and things people are more likely to buy, such as milk, at the back of the shop or in a place that is hard to access. This means that customers will have to walk through rows of appealing products and special offers which they will be more likely to buy. Another way in which the design of shops influences our buying choices is through the use of music. In a recent study, Dr Milliman found that by using faster music, people are influenced to buy less products than with slower music. By using slower music, the stores made an income of £16,000, whereas with faster music, they only made a profit of £12,000. He also found that despite the music influencing the shoppers' purchases, many of the participants weren't aware of the music. It shows that the shopper's unconscious mind was influenced subliminally. Another technique often used by supermarkets is deliberately placing cheaper and owned brands on the lower shelves and the more expensive products at eye level or high shelves. This is because people are more likely to just reach out for products that are directly in front of them and supermarkets deliberately place fun, positive stimuli for children on the lower shelves because they know it will capture their attention. This can be seen in cereal packets when often fun cartoon characters are at eye level of children. So what did we learn today, Alice? We learned about how Freud's subconscious theory is used in everyday marketing and influence our decisions, especially with buying things. And in research we see that quite a bit of it does have validity in, in everyday life, especially the ones conducted in real life stores. So when you next go into a store and you look at the flowers when you enter and you look at how far you have to walk to get to your essentials, you will know that somewhere a marketer is using a psychological theory in order to influence your behaviour to buy as much as possible.